The Mr. Men and Little Misses love expressing their creativity through arts and crafts. They enjoy making things out of clay, <laughs> painting a portrait of a friend, <laughs> or making a bracelet of colorful beads. <laughs> the fun never ends when it comes to arts and crafts. Which is why Mr. Fussy has started Dillydale's first arts and crafts club. If only everyone took their crafts as seriously as he does. Welcome to the first meeting of my arts and crafts club. Each week, we will work on our own craft. After we're finished, we'll show them off. Doesn't that sound like fun? Maybe. Yeah, I guess so. I'm sure you're all eager to see what I'm going to make. <laughs> Fussy a la pasta, a sculpture of myself made entirely out of different pasta shapes. I love pasta. Do we get to eat it after it's done? Certainly not, Mr. Messy. You wouldn't eat a painting in a museum, would you? Besides, this pasta is not even cooked. Too bad. I think I've got some spaghetti sauce in my pocket. Best to keep the craft area clean and tidy, Mr. Messy. Moving on. Mr. Strong, what did you bring to work on today? I thought I'd jazz up my bowling ball. Ah, yes. The timeless art of covering a bowling ball with paint and glitter. I'm almost afraid to ask, what do you have in your craft bag? I decided to make a mobile out of junk. Let's see. I've got a rusty fizzy drink can, a bell without a dinger, a couple of pizza crusts, and a dirty sock. Oh. How creative. Well, let's get to work, shall we? Fussy a la pasta is taking glorious shape already. I'm thinking pink glitter might make me a better bowler. Go for it, Mr. Strong. Okay. Uh, pickles. <gasps> There's glitter on my rigatoni head. Oh, sorry about that, Mr. Fussy. Maybe I'll just use these finger paints instead. Whoa, oh, sorry, Mr. Messy. What are you sorry for? To be honest, I wasn't too sure about this whole craft thing. But it's really messy. How's about another squirt right here? OK. Ready. Aim. Hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Fussy. Mind if I hang this up? Go right ahead. The idea is to display our crafts when they're finished. I am only one little macaroni away from a complete sculpture of myself. What do you think? Uh, well, it's important that we be free to express our creativity. <laughs> Mr. Messy, I do not appreciate your junk raining down on me. I'm almost finished, too. Uh, uh, sort of. <laughs> wow, this glue's strong. Uh-oh. Sweet apple strudel. My sculpture. <laughs> Fussy a la pasta. is <laughs> ruined. Wow, my mobile didn't even break. Nothing but shards of shattered dreams. Hey, Mr. Fussy. Maybe next time you should make a sculpture of yourself out of junk. It doesn't break so easily. <laughs> Who knew craft making could be such fun? In fact, I'd like you to have my bowling ball, Mr. Fussy, as thanks for holding this meeting. Well, thank you, Mr. Strong. Well, see you next week. Huh? Next week? Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Sunshine's Craft Corner. Let's give a warm crafter's welcome to your host, Miss Sunshine. 
Thanks, Mr. Funny. We have a fantastic show for you today. My guest is very serious about arts and crafts. She loves to make costumes. She's also fond of bats, monsters and fangs. How interesting. Please welcome Miss Scary. I had no idea you like crafts, Miss Scary. Oh, yes. I've been doing them for years. Oh. <laughs> I made that myself. Oh, what's this? A foam flower. Today we're making flower-covered flip-flops. That's really scary. I've got a better idea. I'll do the crafts and you can be my assistant. Fantastic! Will you be needing any of these important craft items? Apron, goggles, oven glove. No, no. And definitely no. Look what's in my craft bag. Hmm, milk jug, ordinary string, cardboard tubes and... your remote control. Oh, a doll! I love dolls! Love them, love them, love them! It is not a doll! More like a monster! I know I'm just the assistant today, but feathers and flowers always perk up a monster. <gasps> Look, a pretty rainbow! What? Where? Oh, I missed it. I've never seen a rainbow inside before. Uh -huh. I'm finished! <laughs> you think that's scary? Wait until you see the mummy I'm going to make from toilet paper! Goodness, I think that's all we have time for today. Join us tomorrow for Miss Sunshine's Craft Corner! Over in Dillydale Park, there are some cows to be decorated. Welcome to the second annual Dillydale Decorator Cow Contest! As you know, artists, you will have five minutes to decorate your cow, which will be judged on originality and design by our judges, Mr Nosy and Mr Small! These cows are cheap! Ready? Begin! Greetings, Mr. Grumpy. A fine day to paint a cow. Hmm, I can't help but notice you're painting your cow plain old black and white. That's what cows look like. Huh. You might as well just hand me the first prize now. Uh, but isn't the idea to be creative when you paint your cow? Go wild, Mr. Grumpy. How about green and orange stripes? Do you mind? I'm making art here. Uh, Miss Whoops. I've never seen anyone put silver studs on their cow before. It's so easy. <laughs> Yet so elegant. Not to mention dazzling. Ready to be milk, Bethy. Oh, huh? may I call you Bethy? I don't think she'd mind, Mr. Scatterbrain. Let's get started. Oh, for noodle's sake, you're supposed to be painting your cow, not tickling it. But how else are we supposed to get milk? Might we be of some assistance? Yes. Kick these two dodo birds out of this contest. They want to tickle their cow. It's not against the rules to tickle your cow. As long as you decorate it too. Crooked cucumbers. Yay! Ring the bucket, Mr. Scatterbrain. You want to get that milk? You got to tickle it out. You want to get that milk? You got to tickle it out. One minute, honest. Just one more minute. You know, Mr. Scatterbrain, there's something strange about this cow. I don't think she's real. Now that you think of it, she doesn't look much like Bartleby. Hmm. Don't you think you've gone a little bit overboard, Miss Whoops? What can I say? I've got an artistic eye. Ah, just one more stud. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Sorry. My cow. Time's up! Please stop all cow decorating! The judges have made their decision! <laughs> <laughs>
And a tough decision it was. But since Mr. Grumpy's cow is in ruins, and Miss Whoops's cow is just one colour, the winners are Mr. Scatterbrain and Mr. Tickle for their modern masterpiece of bovine brilliance. Huzzah! Yay! This calls for a tickle! <laughs> So the next time you do some arts and crafts, remember to have fun and put no limits on your creativity. Well, maybe some. <laughs>